From saucer-like UFOs to giant sci-fi starships, these architectural oddities look like they've come from the far reaches of outer space. This is real buildings from out of this world. Musée de Confluence a Museum of Natural Science and Anthropology, the Museum de Confluence opened in December of 2014 in Lyon, France. It's located at the junction, or confluence, of the Rhone and the Seine rivers, which is where the area and museum get their namesake. Created by the Austrian firm Coop Himmelblau, this museum, which measures 144 feet high, 492 feet long, and 272 feet wide, truly looks like an immense spacecraft has touched down on the peninsula where it stands. Its otherworldly look is due to the structure's futuristic, deconstructivist design, and the fact that a large portion of the building is suspended by a handful of support columns. The Omiya Rocket Building a shiny rocket-shaped building known as the Rocket Building sits down the street from Omiya Station in downtown Saitama, Japan. This iconic building that is easily seen from afar by locating the miniature classic rocket sitting atop it was completed in the early 1980s and originally contained a private museum. It's been said that after the Rocket Building first opened, the topmost floor contained a rotating observation deck which allowed a small number of visitors a unique view over the surrounding neighborhood. Possibly due to safety concerns, mechanical issues, Issues or the preferences of the tenants at some point, the rooftop observation section has been locked in place for some time. Nowadays, houses, rental apartments, a cafe, and an educational daycare facility, as well as some other commercial units, inhabit the space. Even among a number of odd buildings in Tokyo, the Rocket Building stands out. Kunsthaus Grost the Kunsthaus Grost, Grazer Kunsthaus, or Graz Art Museum, was constructed in 2003 in Graz, Austria, and has become a significant architectural landmark over the years. The exhibition spaces inside specialize in showcasing contemporary art from as early as the 1960s through today. The museum's design seems deliberately outrageous, a work of contemporary art in its own right, and its strange design is also reflected in the interior of the structure, from the style of the walls to the unconventional organization of the exhibit. The Kunsthaus Gross is an example of blob architecture, and its strange shape led to the building getting the nickname, the Friendly Alien. Let's hope they came in peace, because we certainly think this building is something from another planet. The Futuro House in the late 1960s and early 1970s, a fleet of these flying saucers started landing on Earth. The Futuro House was a series of prefabricated homes designed by Finnish architect Mati Saronen. Created in post-war Finland, the spacey design was a reflection of the era's boom in technology and the successes in space travel. A period of economic growth allowed for an increase in leisure time, so the Futuro House was marketed as a ski cabin that could be constructed and taken down in two days. They were portable and only required four concrete support columns at the site to be constructed upon. The first Futuro made, number 001, is currently on display at the Ouija Exhibition Center in Espoo, Finland, and less than a hundred of these homes were ever created. With their uniqueness, they are quite sought after by collectors. So if you see a Futura house in your town, don't be alarmed. It's most likely not an alien invasion. The Sculptured House. West of Denver in the mountains near Genesee, Colorado, perched amongst the evergreens is the Sculptured House. This unique home was envisioned in 1963 by architect Charles Deaton and was built by Del Zell Incorporated. Interestingly, the interior of the building was originally left unfinished and vacant due to a lack of funds necessary to complete it. It wasn't until 1999 that developer John Higgins purchased the property and hired the original architect's daughter to design the interior, which was then finally finished in 2003. The Sculptured House appeared prominently in the 1973 Woody Allen sci-fi comedy Sleeper, as well as a handful of other films over the years. Many can see the building while driving on Interstate 70 and nicknamed it the Spaceship House, and we certainly agree. The Antwerp Havenhuis. This spectacular building known as the Havenhuis, or Port House, is located in Antwerp, Belgium. The lower part of the building was an unused fire station and in 2007 began functioning as the new headquarters for the Antwerp Port Authority. The Port of Antwerp is Europe's second largest shipping port, handling 26% of Europe's overall shipping container traffic. The upper expansion began construction in 2012 and was designed by renowned Iraqi-British architect Zaha Hadid, who never saw the building after it was opened in 2016. It's the only administrative building she ever designed in her lifetime. The city council named the key side in front of the building Zaha Hadid Plain in her honor. The structure, built on top of the fire station, causes a clash in architectural styles that certainly makes the Havenhuis interesting. This newer 
part of the building, known as the Diamond, appears like a ship landing on top of the building below. The Sanji UFO Houses in the Sanji district of New Taipei, Taiwan, there was a community of pod-shaped structures that became known as the Sanji UFO Houses. They were part of an abandoned project that was intended to be a resort aimed at visiting U.S. officers coming for their East Asian postings. The buildings resembled Futuro Houses, some of which are in other parts of Taiwan. The project to make the community of UFOs started construction in 1978, but construction stopped in 1980 due to a loss of investment and several accidents during the construction. Superstitions arose that the problems were caused by the bisecting of a Chinese dragon statue that was located near the entrance of the resort when they were widening the road. The surreal location became a minor tourist attraction for some time until they were demolished in 2010. The Shine Dome Located at the Australian Academy of Science in the capital city of Canberra, Australia, is the Shine Dome. In 1956, the Academy's design committee accepted a plan that involved a 710-ton reinforced dome, supported by 16 thin supports and no interior supporting walls. It was designed by architect Sir Roy Grounds, and at the time of its completion, it was the largest dome in Australia. The building, which was originally named the Becker House in 1962 after one of the Academy's benefactors, was renamed the Shine Dome in 2000 after John Shine, who donated $1 million to renovate the dome. Due to its otherworldly structure, the Canberra landmark is nicknamed the Martian Embassy, and we can certainly imagine alien beings coming through its doors. The City of Arts and Sciences If you head to Valencia, Spain, you'll find the City of Arts and Sciences, a cultural and architectural complex, which is the most prominent tourist destination in all of modern Valencia. The complex was built at the end of what used to be the Turia River, which was drained and rerouted after a catastrophic flood in 1957. Architects Santiago Caltrava and Felix Candela began the first stages of construction in July 1996, and the City of Arts and Sciences' first building, Le Hemisphérique, was inaugurated in April of 1998. The original budget for the whole project was around 300 million euros. However, it cost nearly three times that budget. It sure does look good, though, don't you think? The Bank of Georgia Headquarters In the country of Georgia, you can find the Bank of Georgia Headquarters in the city of Tbilisi. It was completed in 1975, originally created to house the Ministry of Highway Construction, which it did for many years before it was acquired by the Bank of Georgia in 2007. Interestingly, of the two architects, George Chakava and Zurav Jalaganya, the former was actually the Deputy Minister of Highway Construction at the time, and so being that he was both the client and lead architect, he was able to pick the perfect spot for what they wanted to design. Despite its odd stacked log shape, this structure's design incorporates 18 stories, with two stories in each log, and due to its proximity to the hill it's built next to can be entered at two different levels, depending on which side you enter on. This certainly strikes us as the type of pod-like architecture you'd expect to see in early colonies on other planets. What do you think? Harbin Grand Theater this unique theater, designed by well-known Chinese architect Ma Yan Song, is located in Harbin, Haizhongliang Province, China, and houses multiple venues for various performing arts. Construction of the venue broke ground in April 2011 and was inaugurated and opened in 2015. The city of Harbin, which is recognized as a city of music by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, hosts the well-known annual Harbin Summer Music Concert and is the city where China's first ever orchestra was established. Mayan Song wanted to create a structure with a soothing aesthetic to contrast the more towering and domineering buildings that are more common in modern-day China. They set out to create a cultural hub for the future, a spectacular performance venue and captivating gathering place that would merge art and the city's soul. The result was this intriguing landmark that would easily fit in any science fiction skyline. Before we get to our number one, if you enjoy our videos, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. We'd appreciate hearing from you. The Marina Bay Sands Resort The Marina Bay Sands in Singapore is very unique. Architect Moshe Softy said that the curves of the three towers drew inspiration from a shuffling deck of cards, a fitting look for a casino. However, when people see these towers, they are less focused on the towers, as their eyes are immediately drawn to the very top, where the Sky Park is perched. This three-acre park, nicknamed The Sh 
ship incorporates a massive infinity pool, 57 stories into the sky, a true feat of architectural engineering. The hull of the Sky Park was manufactured in 14 separate parts, which were then assembled on top of the towers. The infinity pool, which was prefabricated in Indiana, took over 30 ocean freighters to be shipped to Singapore. In order to keep the pool level at the top of three separate swaying towers, Natare Corp, the pool's manufacturer, came up with a system of 500 hydraulic jacks that could level the pool regardless of the movement of the towers. The prow of the ship hangs out past the first tower by 67 meters and claims the title of the biggest cantilever on Earth. This resort is truly a marvelous sight and out of this world. Oh, my God.